Hi guys, uh, in this demo I'm going to show you how to create um, a simple Spring Boot application and build it using GitHub Actions. Uh, let's see um, the demo. I'm going to create a simple application using start.spring.io website. If you see I'm on the website and let me refresh the page. By default it's giving me the option to create a May one project. I am interested in a Gradle project. Uh, version looks good. I will just rename this to Learning Hut and application name I can give Sports App. If we see a demo, I will just remove the demo part. I don't want this hyphen. <clears throat> That's it. Uh, I can choose dependency. I want it to be a web application. I'll do a generate. Uh, you see it downloads the folder here and I'll just unzip it. Now all I need to do is open the project from my ID, which is downloaded here. I'll choose the directory and I'll say this window. <coughs> if you see it's downloading all the dependencies that are mentioned in the default uh, in the project that we downloaded and once done you see the folder structure here and our application code um, let's do one thing let's create a simple web page that can serve as an index page here I'll just say hello Sports application and I will run my application code. My application has started. I will now go to the browser and open a web page localhost 8080 and it will serve the web page hello sports application. So our application is now ready for development how to build something using github work workflows and uh, github actions um, so this is our configuration yaml and we ran a simple task a build task uh, let's run the actual task now as part of our actual task we need to understand that we need to uh, check out the code first so i'll just say uh, as part of the steps checking out code and what do we really want to use so uh, to to run these steps there are uh, actions already defined and we can use the already uh, defined actions when we say defined means there is already code present that is uh, easily reusable so I am using actions checkout at the rate version two, and this will uh, make sure that we are using uh, this particular uh, code to check out inside the uh, actions job. Um, then once you have done the checkout, what it will do is it will by default check out this branch and uh, on which you, the push has been made, and then. Um, because it's a Java code, you need to build it. You need to make sure Java is also present in this Ubuntu installation. So there's another um, action that we can use to do it. Let's say uh, we name it as uh, setting up Java environment and we say um, uses uh, actions set up Java at the rate version one and with this is uh, where we define the version that we want to um, install and so that's the second part um, the third part to do is uh, if you see it's a gradle project and when we copy the things to this instance uh, we want to execute this particular file uh, sorry this particular file and this will not have enough writes so we need to give it proper rights to um, uh, execute. So next next step, we can name it as grant permissions. 
and then we will just do a run command like we did uh, uh, earlier so i'll we'll say uh, change the mode add execute permission uh, to this file gradle w and that will make sure that this instance has can execute this code and now we will uh, run actual action that will build our code i'll say build action and um, as part of it i'll just say run the gradle file to which we have provided the permission and run the build command now once we uh, do this we just have to make sure that we commit this and push it and we know on push what will happen it will execute the code added build code and this will make sure whenever we are pushing something to main github has started an action to do uh, added workflow um, let's see if Oh, we just added, we didn't push the branch yet. Um, so we just committed the code. We need to push the branch. Let's say git push. And when we do this, I will provide my credentials for GitHub. Uh, let me quickly copy it back. Uh, if we see the code, where have I copied the code? Hold on. Um, let me go to the directory. Yeah, there you go. And here is the password. So this will push the code to GitHub and GitHub should start uh, building our code. And yes, it is building our code, starting a job. And what we expect is it will check out the main uh, source code and build it. Uh, setting up Java environment, changing the permission, and it just built our code and starting a little daemon uh, looks like it has not started the actual build so we are still in build action um, shouldn't take long uh, let's hope it starts it sooner and once this is done it will uh, there you go it, it started the command to build the project I can see the gradle task um, coming out good build is successful and that's it it completed the job successfully so we were able to build our project uh, using github actions